I'm Amy the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner Elusive, Ellie for short. High five. Good job, good job. And today we're going to do a demonstration to show you how to syringe feed your rabbit so that if you have to, you know what you're doing. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We give tips and tricks for how to make sure you have a happy and healthy bunny in your home. So if that's the kind of thing that you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscription button and the notification bell next to it so that you never miss any of our weekly videos. Unless you have a very calm and well-behaved rabbit, you're probably going to need to burrito your rabbit before you get started on this syringe feeding technique. So if that's something you need to figure out how to do, then go ahead and check out my How to Burrito Your Rabbit video where I go over the technique for how to do that. And then we'll get started. <laughs> and then we will get started on the syringe feeding technique in this video after you have your rabbit burrito. So first what you're going to do is place your bunny burrito on a flat surface parallel to the edge. And you're going to stand up right against the edge of this flat surface so that your rabbit is kind of resting next to you. Then you're going to wrap your arm around your rabbit and place your hand on top of their head. This is going to keep them from bucking their head up to avoid the syringe. You don't want to force their head down or anything, but you do want to put a gentle pressure on their head so that they are not going to be able to uh, escape from getting their medicine that way. And I do this with my non-dominant hand because I use my dominant hand to get the syringe into the mouth, because if not, I'll tend to miss the mouth. <laughs> so with your non-dominant hand uh, wrapped around them, hand on top of their head, pull their lip back. With the hand that's on top of their head, you're going to take your fingers and gently pull their lip back. This will be the lip that is closest to you. Because the thing with rabbit teeth is you can't put the syringe directly into the front of their mouth because their teeth, their incisors, come, come down right in front. So you can't get the syringe in that way. You have to get it in behind their teeth. So you have to pull their lip back so you can put the syringe into the side of their mouth. Once you have their lip pulled back, you want to, as quick as you can, get the syringe in to the side of the mouth and then push the medicine in so that your rabbit will take their medicine. This is a lot harder than it seems in most cases because rabbits will do what they can to like wiggle their head. Even if the rest of their body can't move, they'll wiggle their head away from the syringe so that you keep dropping their lip and you can't quite get it in. It might take a few tries, but I know you can do it. I also need to mention that if you are giving your rabbit more than about one or two milliliters of any kind of medicine at a time, then you're going to need to do it in phases. In most cases, the medication that you're giving them isn't only is going to be a milliliter or less but in many cases such as with critical care if you need to force feed your rabbit then you're going to need to give them more than one milliliter but to keep them from choking you need to only give them about one milliliter one to two milliliters at a time that way they'll get enough time to chew and swallow before they get more medicine so definitely something to make sure you take into consideration as you are giving your rabbit their medication and that's it. Super short video this time. I just wanted to show you the technique for syringe feeding your rabbit because sometimes it can be difficult to figure out how to do that on your own. Uh, this is the technique that my vet showed me the first time I had to uh, syringe feed my, my bunny. I had to give her arthritis medicine every day, so <laughs> that took some figuring out. <laughs> And don't be upset if you can't get it the first time. Definitely burritoing the, your rabbit will help. Um, and just keep trying until you can get their medicine in their mouth because even though they, even though they struggle and won't want to, it's, it's for their own benefit. So you do want to make sure that you can give them their medicine. So good luck. If you're interested in more videos like how to tell if your rabbit is sick, um, you can check out, check out my other videos that I have. Don't forget to check out the bunny burrito video if you need help knowing how to burrito your rabbit. And thank you so much for watching. I do hope that we will see you next week.